हेलो गईस वेलकम टू कॉमर्स अड्डा गईस एज यू सीन इन द थंबनेल यस डू यू हैव द सेम डाउट लाइक यू जी सी नेट एग्जाम फॉर द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स कंडक्टेड इन अ मल्टीपल शिफ्ट्स लाइक शिफ्ट नंबर वन एंड टू समटाइम्स शिफ्ट नंबर वन टू थ्री फॉर द कॉमर्स एंड अदर सब्जेक्ट्स आल्सो इट वाज कंडक्टेड देन हाउ द रिजल्ट इज गोइंग टू बी डिक्लेयर लेट अस डिस्कस द नॉर्मलाइजेशन प्रोसीजर विच एन टी ए यूजली अडॉप्ट फॉर द competitive examination when they are having a multiple shifts of the same subjects so uh, in that case there is a procedure called as a normalization i'll make you understand how the percentile score will be declared that percentile is nothing but a normalization process only so when the scenario is like this if you can observe shift 1 suppose the people felt uh, this question paper is very hard and shift 2 people uh, thinking that question paper is very moderate in nature shift 3 is easy question paper is given so this will become a uh, hectic for the uh, for giving a results or not because when the question paper is not equal for the equal subject same subject suppose say assume the commerce only single subject is there so when the commerce single subject is there but the question paper is in a different uh, uh, difficulty levels are given hard and easy and uh, moderate is given so people uh, this easy paper will have a advantage and they have a stand to chance in the jar of high chances are there and these people are having a low chances right low chances they are having high chances these are having a low chances in such a case there is a discriminative result is going to be there so to avoid that one only in a, in our ind indian education system there is evaluation procedure called as a normalization evaluation procedure is available so whenever the uh, conflict like this arises they are going to adopt to the procedure called as a normalization our nta body is also for the ugc net examination various other competitive examination nta is following this normalization because multiple shifts for the same subject in order to avoid the uh, conflict of the results so how the ugc net uh, score is going to be calculated i will be explaining with a illustrative example also so that your mind will be clear and what formula will be used in the normalization let us discuss so guys this is the scenario first uh, let us see the formula of the uh, normalization with a simple example so the example which i am taking over here is suppose in the shift number 1 candidate uh, a b c d is there and out of the 10 marks total 10 marks are there out of the 10 mark candidate got a 10 marks or else out of the uh, 10 marks candidate got a uh, 9 marks as the highest highest is a 9 marks out of the 10 and uh, b candidate got a 8 marks out of the 10 c candidate got out of uh, we can say 6 uh, out of the 10 and here 4 out of the 10 so like this candidate got the marks so in this situation shift number 1 people are like this and shift number 2 is also out of the 10 marks uh, highest mark is uh, 10 for the some k j h i something some candidates so 10 and 8 as well as uh, 6 and 4 so this is going to be like uh, here highest score is 9 here highest score is 10 here lowest score is 4 here also lowest score is 4 and in the shift number 3 also you can assume the score is like 8 and uh, 6 4 and even 2 also so in this case different different uh, results are coming for the three different shifts so this will be a discrimination if you calculate the percentage absolutely this will come 90 percentage 80 percentage 60 40 and 100 percentage 80 percentage 60 percentage will come so that will not give a best result that's why percentile will be calculated how it is to be calculated 100 multiplied by 100 multiplied by total number of candidate appeared in the session appeared not applied appeared Uh, in in the applied absentees will be there presentees will be there presentees in the examination in that particular session of the shift number 1 or shift number 2 with a raw score with a raw score means whatever the score that they got here the raw score is 9 here the raw score is 8 here the raw score is 6 so that raw score equal to or less than the candidate so here shift number 1 let us take the same a candidate a candidate highest mark uh, in the shift number 1 highest mark is how much 100 into 100 into number of candidate in this in this session 
with a raw score equal to this person and less than this person. How many candidates are there? Equal to this person, 9 candidate, this one person. And uh, other than this 9 candidate, how many are below? 1, 2, 3, 4 are below. So, 3 people are below. Total 4 members. This 3 plus 1, 4 members are there who are equal to 9 marks and below the 9 marks. Divided by total number of candidates is how much? 4. So, this will become 100 percentile. 100 percentile. Right? This will become 100 percentile. Now, if you, if you see the another uh, example, here the 8 marks. So, how many candidates are there equal to 8 marks and uh, below the 8 marks? Equal to or less than the 8 marks. So, 8 and 6, 4. These are the 2 person below the 8 and equal to is 8. Total how many persons are there? 3 persons are there. So, 100 into 3 divided by total number of candidates, obviously 4 only. This will become how much percentile? That will become. So, uh, suppose a 99 percentile came after the calculation. The calculation will differ. I am just taking an approximation basis. Okay, 99 percentile this one. So, this is how every candidate score will be calculated in this way. That's how the percentile for the shift number 1, shift number 2, shift number 3 will come. Now, let me take you through with the one another example. So, this is how the raw scores are there. Assume there are 15 number of the JRFs available for the commerce commerce JRFs available uh, suppose in the general category in the general category commerce JRFs are available total 15 number of JRFs all over India commerce general category is available so when the scores of a shift number one ABCD nine members are in this way nine members in the shift number two in this way and another shift number three in this way so, to which 15 members of a general category students do we need to uh, do we need to give the JRF? That's the question. So, here 250 is the highest, here 230 is the highest, there 270 is the highest. So, if you look at the scores, total uh, shuffle of the scores is there. Here, this is a moderate paper, this is an easy paper, this is a hard paper. Or this is an easy paper, this is a hard paper and this is a moderate paper. So, uh, in this case, discrimination can arise. So, here a percentile, how it will be calculated? 250 and below. How many candidates are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. 9 members are there. 100 multiplied by equal to or less than 9 candidates. Divided by total number is 9 candidates. So, this person is an 100 percentile. Always top person will get 100 percentile top person in that particular subject will be treated as an 100 percentile. Now, second candidate, how the second candidate will get? You can just see second candidate also. 248. So, 100 multiplied by equal to 248 and below the 248. How many members are there? One member is out. So, remaining how many members? Eight number, uh, members, candidates are there out of nine candidates. So, this will become 88 percentile if I am not wrong. Like this for the, I am just taking the number as per the example. So, this is 100 into 7 divided by 9, 100 into uh, 6 divided by 9, 100 into uh, 5 divided by 9, 100 into 4 divided by 9 and 3 divided by 9, 2 divided by 9. 1 divided by 9. Like this, for all the uh, candidates, NTA will calculate, a system calculation will be done. In the same way for this also, here, 230 equal, highest score is 230 in the shift number 2, highest score in the two th uh, 270 in the shift number 3. For the highest score, always 100 percentile only will come. 100 percentile only will come. So, uh, this is how the example will work. Now, I have calculated a percentile on a just approximation basis to show you. So, this is how. Assume, these are the assume numbers, not exact calculation of this marks. Just assume number based on. So, 100 percentile, 99 percentile, 98 percentile, 97, 96 like this. All the shifts are having same percentiles. Top 10 members, top 10 members, top 10 members are top 9, 9, 9, top 9. In each of the shift is there. Now, the question arises to which number? To whom we need to give the 15 number of JRFs? To whom we need to give the 15 number of JRFs? To whom we need to give? Now, NTA is going to decide the JRFs in this way. 
15 numbers are there. 15 numbers are to be given equally for all the ships, all the three ships. Means, uh, as the three ships are there, 15 divided by three ships. How many? 5 for each shift will come. 5 JRFs will be coming for the each of the ship. But which number of 5? Top 5 always. Obviously, it will be top. Uh, 5 members will be chosen in each of the shift. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These 5 JRFs uh, will be from the shift number 1. And these 5 JRFs from the shift number 2. And these 5 numbers from the shift number 3. 5 JRFs. I hope you got the clarity how the calculation is going. Now, do you think the discrimination arises? Competition is there between these only. Again, the shift one people only will compete. Only shift two people only will compete. Only shift three people only will compete. There is no discrimination will arise because number of slots are being divided. Whether net slots or JRF slots are being divided equally for all the three shifts. Got it? I hope you got the clarity. Even NTA has also been mentioned very clearly. This is an illustration given by the NTA. Day, two days is given. Day number one, shift one. Day number one, shift two. And uh, day number two, shift one. Day number two, shift, uh, shift two. So like that, uh, four shifts are given. Total appeared candidates are 28,012. And total number of candidates are this one. Appeared candidates is more important. This is important for us. So highest score in this shift one is that uh, 335, 346 in 2 and 331 in 3, 332 in 4. So like that if you can see the calculation how they calculated in this way. Session number 1, 28,012 members is the highest uh, equal to or below than that total uh, will be equal 100 percentile. 28,012 members divided by total is that 28,012 only. For each of the shift we got the 100 percentiles. Because this always decimals will be till the 7 decimals they will consider. 7 decimals they will consider and in our result sheet also 7 decimals will come. Okay. In the same way, top members, uh, the total number of members appeared uh, divided by or equal to our raw score equal to or less than that uh, score. How many number of candidates are there? That uh, divided by total number of candidates appeared for that session will be chosen. Now, this is just a calculation of 100 percentile for each of the uh, session, which are four sessions, 100 percentile top score, we got it. If you look at the score, 100 percentile, candidate number one, number of candidates who got 331 and equal to 331, how many? 41,326 members are there below the 331 and equal to 331. So, one candidate is there who, are, who secured a 331. And below the candidate, how many members are there? 41,326. So, this is equal to 41,000. Total number of candidates appeared also same. Because this is the 100 percentile. Right, 100 percentile that we got it. And that is the highest. Now, 121 is the raw score. And 77 number of members are there. 77 number of candidates are there who got a 121. So, equal to that 121, 77. And below the 121, how many? 37, 244 members equal to 121, below the 121, below the 121. And uh, divided by total number of member, again 40,320, 41,326 multiplied by 100, which gave us 90.122,4411. Like that, we got a percentile. In the same way, here 41 is a raw score, 381 members got that same score. So, equal to, sorry, equal to this score and below the, uh, that score, how many candidates? 20,851 members are equal to 41 and below the 41. Divided by total number of members are 41,326 multiplied by 100. How much percentile it is? 50.4549194. That's a percentile that we got it. I hope you are getting my calculation or NTA calculation. It is not my calculation how the normalization procedure is working. This is what entire normalization procedure. So, in a simple sense, right? Now, there is no depriving of the uh, result because of the hard paper, moderate paper or easy paper. All are going to get an equal treatment without any discrimination of the result. Now, please uh, have uh, relax for uh, some time because your result is secured uh, with the NTA. 
and it, it can release at any time. In the uh, last video I made, based on the previous provisional key of the 2020 examination, I told like 25 days it will take to give the result. So I am standing on my words, but uh, uh, I didn't consider the second answer key, which I forgot uh, actually in the previous attempt. Yes, some are commenting in the comment section also. So result may get uh, uh, released early also. It may be like a 10 days difference will also be there. So I do agree for that, but it uh, there is no... Uh, there is also a chance it may get delayed because of the merged examination, right? Thank you so much. And uh, if you like this uh, video, please do hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to this channel.